As a kid, my father would sit me on his lap when he played. And my hands looked so small compared to his, but he would rest them on top. And I could feel the movement of each keys as he stroked. He would tell me to imagine I was touching the wings of a butterfly. He would also sometimes smell the keys. He says, it was like freshly baked bread in the morning. This was his life. And it cost him everything, including me. Funny thing is, I've grown up to be just like him. Consumed by the sounds that comes from this contraption. in the neighborhood and I just stopped by and say hello. Okay, so you've said hello. Now goodbye. Why you gotta be so cold? John, you waltz your ass up in here like you haven't been gone for years. Hell, I didn't even know you knew where we lived. I ain't seen no child support from you. You haven't given us a phone call to say hello, drop dead, kiss my ass, nothing. Okay, so I was wrong. Bingo! Look, babe. John, please do yourself a favor and don't touch me. I want to see my son. Your son? Which one, John? I know you're not here to see Kevin. Kevin's in jail. Or did you not know that? Of course I knew that. Then why haven't you been to see him? I don't have to explain myself to you. Wrong answer. Something you want to ask me? Are you okay? Do I look okay? I took seven rounds from Mahaji. Wrong place, right time. What? Man, it's hard to see you like this. After all you sacrificed begging for money. I ain't begging. Rico, you stopping people on the street and asking them for change. And? And you shouldn't have to. See, you got it twisted. I'm out here because I want to be. I'm just trying to collect what they owe. Who owe you? Everybody in this damn country owes me. <sighs> owes us. They wanted blood. It cost me my legs, my future, my happiness. So I'm out here to let them see what people like me sacrifice. Rico, we volunteered. We went because we wanted to. Is that what you believe? Or are you just trying to be politically correct? See everything around here. And getting to the bottom of that bottle ain't gonna solve anything. Trust me. I know. You don't know a damn thing about me. I know that the only people up and about this early with a bottle is trying to bury something. You must have seen or done something foul over there. Maybe it's just me. I know we don't do this, but you know what? It's my turn. Monica, it's cool you won't lie to me. Stop lying to yourself. Crazy. 
okay with that. That's they, why we're going to talk to him. They probably just as crazy as he was. <laughs> Always look on the dark side of life, man. The dark side is being realistic. Yeah, realistically dark, bro. Let's have the conversation with her. Just know once we do this, there's no turning back. Always that brothers keep on you. When you go off the deep end, I'm gonna be your keeper, man. Merci. Thank you, Merci. Merci, monsieur. Thank you. As a kid, my father said that one day he was gonna bring me to Paris to see the slave. Um. Michael Andrew. Oh yeah. He's my dad's favorite artist. And he has two works of art that's not in Italy, but they are here at the Louvre and they are entitled to slave. Really, really? Want to tell you to Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, English. Uh, English. It has been said that Michael Angelo created this piece to show how we enslave ourselves with guilt and anger. Only until we let go can we be set free from the self imposed bondage. I'm sure it's one of the reasons why my father wants to bring me here. Mm. But you know I can be kind of stubborn. Why are you stopping? Tu as attendu assez longtemps, Sistine. Tu dois y aller tout seul. This moment belongs to you and your father alone. Merci beaucoup. I never understood why my father loved this place. Old statues, paintings, a lot of things that just didn't make sense to me. He said it took him to a place that he couldn't go to, not even through music. Now that shocked me.